If you're on the Rode Video Mic NTG, chances are you may want to use it outdoors at some point. And if you do, on a mildly breezy or windy day, you'll find that the foam windscreen that comes with the mic is not very effective at blocking wind noise. In this video, we'll talk about a Movo windscreen that is both affordable and effective. So let's get on with it. Hi, I'm Ison Phillips and I do tech reviews just like this one, plus tips and tutorials on audio, video, and still photography. So if that's something you're into, click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell notifications so you won't miss future videos. Now Rode makes their own furry windscreen, the WS11 for the Rode VideoMic NTG, and it sells for $39 in the US, and I'm sure it's very effective. And although that's not terribly expensive, you're paying mostly for the road name and for their reputation. The Movo windscreen, however, the WSG100, is a perfect fit for the Rode Video Mic NTG and sells for $25 US dollars on Amazon. Now that's not a huge difference in price, but this is a very good quality windscreen for the money. This Movo windscreen is 4.7 inches long or 12 centimeters long. It has an acoustic foam liner, so this slips right over the microphone you don't need the foam windscreen that comes with the mic underneath it. And it also has a rubber base that fits very snugly around the end of the microphone that doesn't allow any wind to get in any part of the microphone. This thing can reduce wind noise by up to 40 decibels while keeping high frequency loss to a minimum. However, if you do have some high frequency loss, you can just use the high frequency boost button on the microphone. And you can also engage the 75 Hertz high pass filter. Along with the two of those, you can block out any extraneous wind noise. Plus, it just looks cool on the mic. Using this windscreen will just smooth out your audio in general and reduces plosives. You know, those p -p 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 sounds that you get when you speak into the microphone? It reduces those. In fact, many users choose to just keep this windscreen on their mic at all times, even indoors. Just like the Rode version, the Movo windscreen comes with a 12-month warranty. Plus, if you buy it on Amazon, of course, you have free returns. But enough talking about the windscreen, let's go outside and try it out. I'm outside now with the Rode Video Micro and there's a slight breeze blowing, so you may be able to hear that noise in the microphone. I don't have any filters on in the microphone and I don't have a foam windscreen or any other protection from wind on the microphone at this time. I'm gonna run this as the first test and then we'll compare it with the foam windscreen and then with the furry windscreen. Right now the wind is really kind of kicking up a little bit, so you probably will hear some wind noise. Okay, this is the second test. Now I've got the bare mic. However, I've got the foam windscreen on the mic and the high pass filter set on 75. The breeze is kicking up a little bit, so you should be able to hear some noise. And the foam windscreen accounts for some deadening of the wind noise, but not a whole lot, so I wouldn't count on it to deaden the wind noise if you're outside shooting. Okay, this is the third and final test. There's a little bit of breeze blowing right now. It's not too strong, but I do have the furry windscreen on the microphone along with the 75 Hertz high pass filter and the high frequency boost. There's also some other noise in the neighborhood. There's insect noise, there's street noise usually, there's an ice cream truck going by. I don't know if you can hear all of those things. Hopefully you hear this furry windscreen and how it blocks out any wind noise and also any extraneous noise that the microphone might otherwise pick up. Again, this is the Movo windscreen. Keep in mind that no windscreen is going to block out wind noise entirely. These windscreens are designed for moderate winds. When you're talking about wind speeds of 40 to 50 miles an hour, these windscreens may help but they're not going to block out noise. But you probably won't want to be outside recording in those situations anyway. If you have questions or comments about this windscreen or recording outdoors with your video mic NTG, leave them below in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer them. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching everyone. Be safe and we will see you in the next video.